What's going on guys? This is Sean back again doing an update video. Um, I know I just did one a couple days ago. I was on version 4.6.1 on the, the drone leak beta software. Now I'm on the new one, 4.7. So as you can see, the, the background already looks different. It's giving you different pictures of, I guess, of different parts or just different areas around the country. So I can already see a difference here. But the, the key is, will we see a difference in flying? Will there be less uh, uh, crashes and then have the restarts? We'll see. I'm about to fly a mission that I did before. And I will link this, the video to the previous mission that I did on the old software. I met the same part. This one is called soft Gwinnett part. So I did this one already. I'm going to do it again. And let's see if this one is even better or is this, if it's worse. So we're going to get ready to go up. So let me get the DJ. And I think there's another glitch here that is showing 94%. These batteries I just charged this morning to 100. So I don't know why it shows 94%. Just to let you know, um, also with the f-stop, the f-stop here is incorrect. Also, I, I can't even change the, the f-stop, so I don't know why it won't let me change it. But it's really set to 1.7. It's not set to uh, 5.6. I know I got a comment in that before, but the drone is ready to go. We can get ready to go up, and we're going to do that mission again, and let's see if it does better than it did before. So let's get ready to go. Okay, now it's saying unable to take off, but we're ready to go now. So, we're we're here. We go. Okay, so we're going up, 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 and then I will get my shutter speed. That's really the main thing you really need right now. But we, I'm just doing pictures. If I'm doing videos, I don't know. This, this would really be not nah, not really a problem. But I guess in, in in videos, I will have to really. I guess it's still locked at 1.7. You really can't change it. So, and it's a bright day. It's actually later than I normally shoot. I normally shoot around uh, in the morning, so it is the evening time right now. So I want to up my shutter speed a little bit more. As me right there in my car, somebody was doing donuts as they normally do. These kids at these parts. So let's go up to 240 and let's see how that looks. Let's go to 320 and let's see how 320 looks. I actually like how 320 looks. Let's let's look around. I think 320 will be good. So we're at 218 feet. We're gonna do 320. Uh, let's go ahead and go over here and let's fly our soft net part mission. Let's see how long was it anyway. I don't think it was that long, but let's see. Okay, it was only eight minutes. So it's showing us where it's at. So I think it took about 16 minutes the last time. Let's see, can we really get it in eight minutes? So let's go. And you see the battery already showing 90%. But let's fly this mission. Three, two, two one. one. Starting Start mission. mission. And for anyone new in flying uh, automated missions or um, virtual stick missions or, like you said, mapping missions, uh, I was going to go to the first point on the map. I should have had it closer there from the beginning, but that was that was my fault. But uh, and I think I still have the max approach speed at 10 miles. Should have put it at 20 so it can go on over there, but it's fine. Shouldn't take that long. And I think it's considering the eight something to get over to start the map as well. So I'm going to let it get over there. There we go. We we had a crash, so we at least have one crash. Doing really well so far. So one crash. Let's reload the app. So let it connect back. And then you see here we go back to software net part. Go back to load. And to let it load the mission. We were 34% done. And then as you can see here, this map looks totally different than what it was like in real life. It's baseball fields over here if you look at the preview on Drone Link. So I don't know where Drone Link gets their maps from. And then now it's going to have to go back to the Three, pausing point. Two, one. And then it's going to come Start back down. Mission. So as you can see, it's going back to the starting point, then it's coming back down.
Mission, mission accomplished. accomplished. All right, everyone. So I have it set to when the mission finished, it just stops and hovers where it's at and not come home because you just never know. It may try to land on something. But what I will say is this is not bad. Only one crash. Only one crash, guys. So that was pretty good. So this in summary, um, let me go down and let's get ready to come on back. So basically, it is, it's, it's pretty good. Uh, it's too hard to tell right now because this is 4.7 and it's my first mapping. And it's a map that I did before and I'm sure it crashed three or four times here the last time I did it. So I'm going to, I'm going to take it to um, a lot of my other previous maps and see how those do. I have Vines Park, I have my Alexander Park was my big 20 something minute one. Uh, I'll do that one too as well and upload that video so you can see if it's actually if they're actually getting better with different versions of the software and this is drone leak software so i'm assuming that um dji made a new uh, update to the sdk but i need to look at the change log couldn't find anything in the change log to say otherwise so i'm going to i'm going to look at that as well so let's come on down this is the park so as i'm coming down let's bring my camera down i'm over here yep i'm over here so let's go over here and let's get ready to land Let's get ready to land back down. But yeah, so so far, so good. I am impressed with the software. It is pretty good so far, but we will continue to test. So thank you all for continuing to support my channel, continue to support the videos that I do make, because I make a variety of videos. They're not for everybody. They're the videos I want to make, right? So these are things that are interesting to me. And flying drones right now is interesting to me. And I really didn't notice about the, the Mini 3 Pro until I bought it, about the SDK, the custom SDK that they had. Um, so we'll see, because I really want to make some money doing this. I really want to do some more advanced missions. And I'm going to start doing some more advanced waypoint missions and different things in, uh, later on this year. So stay tuned. I really appreciate you all watching.